So we have the opportunity to look back uh, in the previous five years and see how things have changed. And that's been really useful as we look at the COVID impacts specifically. So it's not all bad, thankfully. Uh, there, is, there is some good in there. Uh, over 35% of our businesses saw revenue increases in 2020, despite the pandemic. Um, we have seen 15 new businesses open through 2020. Uh, now on the other side, we did see 20 businesses close through 2020 uh, as a result in often uh, underlying issues caused by the pandemic. Um, but we're also seeing adjustments in how jobs are being filled in Gravenhurst and of course the impact of that employment. The lack of volume has been a huge challenge when you're put into the lockdowns. Um, obviously people aren't coming out of their house, their daily routines are shifted out, you know, moms aren't getting the break to come in for the coffees when they're at home with their children, when people's routines are shifted in terms of how they're coming and going from work, that changes as well. So we, we, we really scrape by through January, February, March is, March is still kind of overlapping into that. It's been painful in some ways, but it's, it's, Honestly, we're seeing volume starting to slowly pick up with the weather and the change of the seasons. And I think there's some bright, bright look, looking uh, days ahead. So it's, it's definitely been hard though. I think it's gonna be quite a while before uh, the flow of our products becomes anywhere close to what it, I'd call normal. I think there's a lot of uh, backlog and problems with uh, supply chains and companies being able to get everything they need to, to make my products so but um, that being said I think uh, there is some improvement and our our inventory of appliances has certainly got better than than way back in the spring and summer. I think with the work that our our economic development department does with uh, Jeff Loney, the Chamber of Commerce, the BIA, who have worked with businesses to try the best they can to help out during a really difficult time, has been uh, amazing. And I think it's really helped. And I think you see that in some of the responses to the uh, to the survey that was done with those businesses and the work that that Jeff and uh, the Chamber and the BIA have done with those businesses to to help them through this time. You know, we I'm sure we don't have all of the answers, but we certainly have done a lot, I believe, to try to reach out to them, to do whatever we can to assist, as well as the district, in monies that have been coming from the province and the feds. So this, this data helps us build our programming uh, each year, and even though the report has come out now in March, uh, we've been looking at this data since we started collecting it in April of 2020. It's allowed us to create things like one-on-one -on -one financial support audits, um, as well as very specific uh, supports for shop local related to restaurants and retail um, even and even things like a new uh, work from home program.